Hello everyone, my name is Vakar Asan and you are watching AI Studio. Today, our project is human pose estimation through OpenCV. Human pose estimation is a way of identifying and classifying the joints. You can see from here and that this is a human body and total 32 joints are in the human body. So with the help of these joints, you can easily estimate the pose of a human body. So now let's just uh, get into the project okay so uh, i already make this i will run this to see how that it's work okay so you can see from here that this is a video of uh, a man okay so here it is identifying all that joints which are in the human body and here you can see that number one joints and their uh, coordinates are also uh, find in this video okay so now we will implement this okay so first of all uh, i open my jupyter notebook and here i will write all this program so first of all i will write import os okay so first of all i will make some boxes to write the code after that i will write import cv2 okay then i will import my media pipe as mp okay media pipe is basically used for human pose estimation so that's why i am using this after that i will import my time because uh, uh, i estimate the time of the video if you are importing your picture then you don't need to import the time okay so here i will write uh, to draw the joints uh, and so that's why I am writing this MP draw, which is equal to MP dot solutions. Okay, MP dot solutions and here dot drawing utilities. Okay, after that, what will I do? I will write here my pose MP pose. Okay, so here I will write MP pose, which is equal to mp dot solutions okay dot pose so after that in the next cell what will i do i will write that pose so that's why i am writing that pose is equal to mp mp pose dot pose okay after writing this i will import my video so that's why i am writing here uh, capture is equal to cv2 dot video capture video capture and here i will define the path our video is on the desktop so here from here i will open my desktop and here is the human post data so i will copy as path and i will paste it here okay after uh, pasting it here i will define the uh, previous time which is equal to zero okay why i am doing this because i want to uh, reduce the frame per second so that's why i am defining here the previous time and in the next code we will uh, see that how it will work okay so here i will write while true success image uh, which is equal to cap dot read okay so after that uh, i will convert my image from bgr to rgb because in opencv uh, our original image is uh, in bgr and it will accept the rgb image so that's why i am writing here image rgb which is equal to cv2 dot cvt color and here i will write image cv2 dot color and i am defining changing this bgr to rgb so that's why i will write here bgr to rgb okay so after uh, this i will write here the results results are from that pose dot process and here i will write that image which is uh, in rgb 
so that's why i here i write image rgb okay and uh, now what uh, gonna we will do we will do to uh, mark uh, the joints uh, basically they are known as landmarks so that's why here i will write if results dot pose landmarks landmarks okay then it will draw the landmarks so that's why i am writing this command which is mp draw dot landmarks and sorry here i will write landmarks and what is that image and here i will write result dot pose landmark and here i will write mp pose mp pose dot pose and here i will write that connections okay basically these are connections so that's why i will write here the connections okay so from here you will see now i am creating a class and uh, i want an accurate image so that's why i will write here for id lm in enumerate enumerate enumerates and in enumerate i will give the, the results which is results dot post landmarks and here i will again write the landmarks so after writing this what will i do okay so just a minute here i will i will close that okay so here i will write that height width of that image which is equal to image dot shape so after writing this i will print this and it will print that id okay so here i will write print id in that class okay so after this i will write the x axis and y axis so here i will write that cx dot um, cy is equal to integers basically so that's why i am writing this x multiply by width and here i will define an integer for y which is integer in that class and here i will multiply y with the height okay so here i multiply with this height sorry i will remove one of these okay so now uh, just a minute i will okay i think now it's clear to the audience so now what will i do i will draw some circles around the joints so that's why i will write that cv2 dot circles and here in the image so here i will define the x axis and the y axis okay so after defining this i will write the color so 25500 you can change this according to your requirements and after that i want to fill that so that's why i will write command cv2 dot fill okay so from here uh, because i want uh, frame per second very low so that's why here i will write write the current time which is equal to time dot time and after that sorry so what will i do here i will define the frame per second okay fps which is equal to one divided by run time minus previous time okay so after that uh, our previous time which is equal to our run time so here i will write this just change this into 
Turn time. Okay. So now uh, I will put some text. So here I am writing that cv2 dot put text and after that the text will be in the image and here I will define that string and string and but our uh, FPS is in, in integers values so that's why I am defining here integers of the FPS okay so here I will define the axis which is 70 and 50 let's okay so now I will write here uh, the font uh, so here I am writing that cv2 dot font and here I will write the harsh and here the plain text okay after defining this what will i do i will show my image so here i will write that cv2 dot im show and here i will put the result window which is image and what will i show which is image so here i will write cv2 dot wait key so now we will run this code to see what happened now we will run this code okay so let's just see that what happened so first of all i will uh, previous clear output okay so after that i am running this okay so here you can see that uh, all the poses are identified and here all the joints are shown okay uh, these are the coordinates of that joints if you can see that uh, let's suppose uh, i am saying the left eye which is number two okay so uh, if i am i want to use that so what will i do i will go here and, and i will see here that what are the coordinates x y z value of the two so in this way you can estimate the pose of a human body so these are all 32 poses uh, coordinates you can see from here and here you can see so in this video if we uh, again run this video so you can see that how you can uh, pose uh, you can do the human pose estimation okay so here you can see and in the uh, blue color the integers numbers are shown which are basically the fps fps what does it means it means that frame per second because our video is uh, very speedily so that's why we uh, that's why uh, we slow down our video so that's why i uh, previous time and the current time and here i will divide one by current time minus previous time so in this way you can uh, do the human pose estimation so uh, thank you very much and keep watching ai studio thank you